What's up guys? Today we're going to be looking at the tiniest coaxial rotor helicopter in the entire world. And you are watching Relative Motion, the channel all about showing you the most interesting places in the world and the best means to get you there. And this sure is an interesting helicopter, having a coaxial rotor system. These are fairly rare in the world of helicopters, which is definitely unfortunate because these types of helicopters certainly have some advantages over a conventional rotor system. And in this video, we're going to look at some of those advantages and some of the other interesting features the VA-115 has to offer. The VA-115 is a fairly new helicopter, having only come out in 2015. So I'm not sure how many of these are flying around, but it can't be too many. And is maybe one of the potential disadvantages of this helicopter in the world of aviation, just because this helicopter isn't necessarily as tried and true as some other helicopter designs. But with more time, I would hope this helicopter would prove to be a very safe machine, as it already has in its short run so far. Another interesting point about this helicopter is it's actually not supplied in a kit. This helicopter is sold in a complete form. So if you are looking for a single seat helicopter, especially an ultralight, this is probably one of the few options on the market that you don't have to put together. Since a lot of ultralights are kits, just like the Mosquito Air Helicopter, which was actually the first episode on relative motion, and I will link down in the description below. But that has a conventional style rotor system, and unfortunately is no longer sold. But just like I talked about in that video, the unfortunate part of an ultralight in general is they tend to be a little less practical because of the limitations built into an ultralight category. And I think the limitation mostly revolves around having a five gallon maximum fuel tank, which would give the VA-115 a range somewhere around 130 miles and an endurance around two hours, which I certainly think is plenty far for doing the types of things you would want to do in this helicopter. But I would say this helicopter really revolves around the coaxial rotor system that this helicopter has. Because having a coaxial rotor system certainly is a mechanical marvel. And I'll go more into coaxial rotor systems later on this channel. But the main advantage to a coaxial rotor system is the elimination of the tail rotor. Because both rotors spin in opposite directions, the torque created by one rotor is canceled by the other. Where in a conventional system, you would have only one rotor. So they put in a tail rotor to counteract the torque produced by the main rotor. The other cool part about a coaxial designed rotor when each rotor only has two blades like the VA-115 does. They generally build them such when you line the rotor blades up they line up with the same axis of the helicopter's fuselage. The unfortunate part though of having a coaxial rotor system is it does make the helicopter a little bit taller. This helicopter has a height of about eight feet where most single seat helicopters only have a height of about seven feet or less. Now the reason I mention this is a small helicopter like this you might want to store in your garage and most garage doors are a minimum of seven feet and get up to maybe seven feet nine inches in height however i don't believe garage doors unless you get into taller rv garage doors are going to be eight feet tall so unfortunately i don't think this helicopter will fit in your garage and then still technically having only two blades on each rotor well, i'm not positive of this i do believe this helicopter is still susceptible to mass bumping which is an unfortunate characteristic of two-bladed rotor systems. But having two rotors, I think this helicopter potentially would have better auto rotation characteristics because it's going to have about twice as heavy of a rotor system, obviously from having the two rotors. And the last, and I think pretty interesting, feature that the VA-115 has to offer, which I can't say I've ever seen on any other helicopter, is this helicopter comes with a device that you hook to the skids of the helicopter and allows the helicopter to go into a hover, but won't let it get more than about five feet off the ground. And the point of this device is to allow people trying to learn how to fly the ability to fly in a single seat helicopter without an instructor. Because according to Rotorschmied, this device will not let your helicopter flip over, which is pretty crazy to believe. And I'd be a little hesitant putting this thing to its limit. But if you're trying to learn how to hover in a helicopter, you're not going to get a lower hourly cost than this machine. If you made it to the end of this video and you'd like to see more videos on coaxial helicopters and other vehicles, I hope you consider subscribing down below, which really helps you 
to stay tuned to more videos coming your way. Like the next video on Season 1, we're going to look at the cheapest two-seat helicopter in the entire world. And until next time, I'm James, and you've been watching Relative Motion.